continues to get international and national attention. A new book called Miami Contemporary Artists is actually capturing all of the excitement. Here's what the authors of the book, as well as some very talented artists, have to say. Describing Miami used to be relatively easy. Its major appeal could be summed up in just a few words. Sun and fun, beach by day, clubs by night. But as the skyline of the city was transformed, so was its cultural identity. Modern day Miami has become a player on the cultural scene and a magnet for artists. I think it's a combination of many things. First of all, the, the physical environment, the geographical environment, uh, the light that's in Miami is beautiful, the colors. I think that one of the wonderful things that we have here in Miami is a real um, mix of people. The artists pick up on all of those flavors and, and it really, um, they breathe it back out in their work and, and you see it everywhere. I think it's been kind of a very organic process that one thing led to the other and very much like a um, um, grassroots development. It wasn't like somebody came and said, let's do this here or this big institution came and did this here. Even our Basel, that was a big um, agent in fostering this development, they came because all of this was happening already. They, it wasn't, it wasn't our Basel that made this happen. It was the other way around. They came here because there was something happening in the town already. Architectural photographer Paul Clemens and artist Julie Davidow are co-authors of a new book that features 100 Miami contemporary artists. It captures their energy and diversity. The forward was written by prominent art critic Elisa Turner. There's a lot of experimentation. You can find art with a lot of interesting materials. But I think one of the most interesting things about the Miami art scene is that there's always been a strong spirit of activism. You know, artists coming here and saying, well, let's, it's not happening, let's make it happen. I think that Miami artists and the art scene um, is having a tremendous influence beyond the um, confines of the city. Um, the entire art world has been watching what's going on here. Uh, we've been producing a lot of really wonderful artists who are staying in Miami instead of moving to other cities, New York or L.A. or London or what have you, and people are starting to recognize that Miami artists are international. They're uh, equally um, competitive and talented with art that's being produced around the world. Um, of course, the Art Basel coming here really helped to jettison us further into the position that we find ourselves in today. One of the artists featured in the book is John Bailey, educated at Yale and now a professor at FIU. Bailey says his work is inspired by the Dada poets and the city of Miami. In my work, what I attempt to do is I try to reverse the traditional method of making an artwork in that the idea is not preconceived and the formal elements are not made to support that idea. Rather, I juxtapose various um, bits of information, various data, and let a narrative form out of that so that rather than having the, the narrative prior to executing the work, the narrative develops for, from the work and is subjected to each viewer, um, which is how I feel in many ways our experience in Miami is. We're learning um, and interpreting things in a new way every day. Large canvases, vibrant colors, and geometric shapes are the hallmark of Gavin Perry, another artist featured in the book. In the text accompanying his work, Perry says when society tries to homogenize culture, the opposite happens and radical individualism flourishes. He describes his individual style. I would describe it as being non-traditional, um, uh, driven by an idea about uh, trying to find a way to make paintings without making paintings with paint, uh, using non-traditional materials, uh, industrial resins, uh, uh, manufactured goods, uh, described as slick. I think color comes uh, serendipitously. Um, it's uh, nothing's really sort of mapped out beforehand. Uh, things inspire, you know, one layer inspires the next layer, one layer inspire, uh, informs the next layer as to, to how it's going to be developed uh, color wise. And that's exactly what's happening in the Miami arts community one layer inspiring the next. The comprehensive new book and spotlight on Miami artists come at a time when the city is at a cultural crossroads. The Miami Museum of Art has unveiled plans for an impressive new home. 
The Museum of Contemporary Art plans a major expansion. And galleries in Wynwood and the Design District are flourishing. It's a magical time for art here in the Magic City.